NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's first, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. one also slow in developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage but not much more than that kind of running there at your own risk against that 4-3 in that big line aren't you yeah and I don't really run it against a good 4-3 team that well because I've got to get those guys on the move a little bit if you're a static running team meaning you just want to run it in the middle you may have some trouble against good defensive tackles that's what we just Go saw ahead. on that play no gain the Vikings on third down they've only converted once in four tries this is third and 11 throwing is Rodgers and he's got Kyle Territory. A big play there for Minnesota. 55 yards. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and 10 at the 19. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And Cooks has it over the middle. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Working from the gun, Rodgers. That's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Antonio Brown from six yards away. And the Vikings are able to strike for six. Kai Forbath on. For oh, at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. you will get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. For that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Second down, it's McCoy. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Second and ten now, Ryan. Throw left side, complete to Sharp. And he is down deep into Minnesota territory. A big play there. And even 40 yards. If post pattern is often equated as a changeup route, how about when you throw it to your big guy down the center of the field? Cover it or not, you have great confidence. He's going to come down with the football. And when he does, as we just saw, long gains often result. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. second down and that is incomplete Brandon Cooks the receiver he was going after third down here I'm gonna need some help with this one how did he miss him wide open in the end zone he's not hurried he's not hit and somehow 
incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will be brought down at about the... Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now McCoy. And it's a touchdown. LaShawn McCoy, a six-yard touchdown run. And his guys have... Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter... You're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On play action, now Rodgers. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Rodgers now to throw. Oh, wide open, complete. Vance McDonald, 69 yards. What adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. <laughs> well, the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to it. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pick up. There we go. Hey, right, let's go. Got it, got it. Got it, got it. They'll look to throw. And he checks this one down to Williams. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up Sue after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. The Let's line go. of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. to throw and it's caught and he will have a touchdown Tevin Coleman obviously the clock a huge factor they'll be watching that what do they need to do here Charles your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds completions get out of bounds gain some yardage then when the clock hits seven seconds or left now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. He's back to throw. And he caught over the middle by Moss. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. 
as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Rodgers now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. it off to Ajayi. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. throw deep downfield and incomplete he dropped it in the end zone trying to erase that deficit all at once one big shot he took it unfortunately for him incomplete so after the incompletion on first now second and ten And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Jump out! Jump out! One final try now for Rodgers. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. Rodgers has done it before, but he won't get the connection here, and the ball game is over. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it, it done cheated. that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're svelte in good shape, but yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Atlanta.